In this video, we'll look at different ways to organize your files and folders in File Explorer. So if we open up File Explorer from the taskbar, and we'll go to the test folder that I already have set up for test folder here. So here you can see that I have a number of different files and folders set up. So using the actual ribbon at the top, there's a number of different ways that you can go about managing your files and organizing them correctly. Now one of the best ways to manage your files, especially if you're doing a lot of copying and pasting to different folders, is to open two file explorers. So if we open up a file and we'll go to open a new window. And what you can do is you can drag this all the way to the right of your screen. And you can select the other file explorer window. And what that'll do is that will split the screen 50 50. So, for example, if you want to go ahead and copy uh, this charts file into the business folder, you have the option to just right click on there and you can go to copy. So you can also copy the file by going up to the ribbon and using the copy command at the top there. That will copy that into the clipboard. And when you come over to this side here, to the second file explorer window, you have the option to paste, which you can also use Control and V. And that will paste the file into that folder. If you want to move a specific file so it deletes it from the current location, you can go back and if you select a file here, you have the option to move. So if you want to move the selection, it will delete it from that folder. So we can see there that the business folder is the one where I want to move the folder to. So if I select that, you'll see that the file is now transferred from the original test folder over to the business folder. If you want to go ahead and move a number of files, you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and select the files that you want to copy. So if you want to copy those three files across, you can copy from up on the ribbon there. You can also use control and C or you can also right click on the selections you've made, go down to copy, go over to the file explorer window on the right hand side and you can right click and you can paste those files into that folder as well. And you can also create a new folder in File Explorer. So if you go up to the top there in the Home tab, you have the option for the new folder. And we'll just call that Test Folder 2. And in the same way that you copied the files, you can also copy folders as well. So if you want to select uh, this Test Folder 2, you can also use a different option as well. If you want to go to View and you want to select the Item Checkboxes, Instead of you holding down the shift key and selecting multiple folders, you can click the check boxes there and that gives you the same option. So you can right click now, you can go to copy, and go over to your other file explorer window and you can also paste, right click in that window and paste and that will copy the folders across for you. If you find there's a file or a folder that you want to change the name of, you can also click on it and you can right click and you have the option to rename it down the bottom. So we'll make an amendment there to new change. You can also press F2 as well, which will give you the same option and you can make an amendment there. If you find there's a file or a folder that you no longer want to keep and you want to delete, you can just right click on the file and delete. Now what that will do is that will go ahead and put the file into the recycle bin. So it still gives you the opportunity to retrieve the file if you've made a mistake. So you can go to the recycle bin by 
clicking on this little arrow up the top here and you can go to recycle bin you can also go to the start menu and type recycle bin as well which will bring you into the same location and you can see up the top there it gives you different options to empty the recycle bin if you think you've made a mistake and you want to restore the file you can just go ahead and restore the items that you've selected but we know this is a file that we no longer want to keep so we'll go ahead and empty recycle bin are you sure that you want to permanently delete the file yes and that will now be deleted from your system